Welcome back to Cactus Court Plays Trauma Center New Blood. My name's Kevandre. And my name is Bobby. Sorry, Dr. Kevandre and Dr. Bobby. Keep fucking it up. We forget that we're doctors sometimes. I'm a real doctor. I'm a real doctor. Not that kind of doctor. Uh, last time, we did all sorts of shit. Um, but most importantly, we ended up on this TV show because Valerie fell into their trap. Yes. And then now we're supposed to do some competitive surgery against some bullshit dude with a butt chin. Yes. So, you know, looking forward to that, because we had some fucking bullshit last time. I got this terrible, like, dude named Guy Davidson, who's just like, Oh, they misplaced the membrane! Yeah, it was really annoying. Also. I, and I laughed because of how annoyed you got. I, I got pretty annoyed. Something else uh, that's going on is we have this raspberry Coke that we got from Walton Mart. Yep. Um, if you follow us on Twitter, you might have noticed that I tweeted at Coke like a month ago, being like, hey, you should bring Raspberry Coke out, aside from the, you know, the Freeform machines. He also tweeted it out on his personal account, like, like four years ago. Like, yeah, quite some time ago. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and now they have it, so I'm assuming that it's, uh, you know... Didn't they actually respond saying, hey, we have no plans to bring Raspberry Coke out at this time? Right. Yeah. And, and then a month later, here it is. Exactly. They changed their mind because they're just like, you know what? That guy's got a good idea. Yes. But they totally we... had all this labeling and stuff printed out and all this design and testing and clearly market research. All the design done, is not. That all done would, within one month. That would take you like a day. Okay. And with, we, with Coke? We work with people who design this stuff. Not shit gets done in a day. Who design just like I mean the overall design of the label is mostly the same as usual stuff. You just do right. the little like line art for the raspberry, and then you have to get everything approved and all the stuff in the back. So all the nutrition. I think the difference the right is that way. with Coca Cola, they probably get first priority. That's probably true. Yeah. And I bet I know someone who sold them this glass. So anyway. Yeah. Uh, same. <laughs> let us begin this competitive surgery bullshit. It's gonna be great. You gonna lose? Ooh, Probably. Gonna lose. I'm gonna get mad. It's been a mess here because of your rash response, Valerie. Yeah, Valerie. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Aren't you being a little unfair? She didn't want to go on TV in the first place. It's not her fault this happened. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Slytherin girl, coming in for the win. She's a bitch. God, I love her. A minute. The situation is not as bad as it may seem. If they can win the competition, <laughs> then we won't have anything to worry about. Why are we treating surgery like a competitive sport? A great question, Marcus. A great fucking question. Because, isn't it? This whole game, Marcus is the only person that ever uses his fucking brain. And that's because he's a vampire. He gave everybody stigma. It makes them dumber so that they're easier to prey upon. And then he used his sorcerous ways to make stigma go Bwah! And then so now everybody has stigma in the world. I like Slytherin Girl. She's pretty awesome. She has stigma. I'm sorry, yeah, Marcus. That happened. Valerie. I should have objected to this more strongly. I feel responsible for the entire situation. Yeah. But now that it's come to this, I have to ask you to appear on the show one more time. One more time, I'm gonna appear on the show. I promise you. That was really that bad. Be the end of it. We'll Usually right. you do much better we'll with trying to fit words to a song. But that was pretty bad. And now he does the stupid grin. Like a bird who just told a really <laughs> dumb joke. <laughs> yeah. Where it just kind of opens its beak and sticks its tongue out in an odd way. They're like, ah! <laughs> yeah, like yeah. that's just a thing that happens. Just Look. some bird telling some <laughs> shitty joke. Look, we've seen the little picture things where it's meme and it's like, hey, what about this dumb pun? And the bird just kind of goes, ah! It's, it's like that eel who always tells a shitty joke. Yeah. Ordinarily, they'd take a month to produce, but our technology lets us make them in 10 days. They're made of special material, which is easy to suture with, and prevents the formation of thrombi. Thrombi, you say? Yeah. We only recently gained approval to use them. I understand, Robert. Thanks. Our patient is suffering from an aneurysm, but still, having these will be reassuring. I'm sorry, Valerie, but this is a good opportunity to sway public opinion in our favor. Maybe so, but I'd rather be researching stigma. Yeah. It's almost like that's your job and what you should be doing, rather than wasting the money that, you know, this dude's bitching about, going on his fucking show. 
their boss told them what their job was. And it's, hey, go back on the show. Yeah. Which means, hey, shut up and go back on the show. Yeah, but she's an idiot. Look, we've all had idiot bosses. Just look at her name. As long as the paycheck comes through. Yeah, because that's why you become a doctor, for the paycheck. Most people, yeah. Or family pressure. You get quite a bit of money from it, but I don't think that that's why you become a doctor. Maybe Doctor Strange did. Most people, yeah. I don't think so. If you want to help people, you become nurses. Because nurses are the true heroes. Well, I think they're all true heroes. I've known plenty of doctors. Not all of them are heroes. You like that one gay Canadian doctor, though. Yeah, is awesome. Yeah. He's my favorite doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby likes going to the gay Canadian doctor to get felt to get his, you know, uh, turn your head and cough test. It's because he knows my whole family. Yeah. And it's great. And I don't think he'd ever admit this to anybody. Like, uh, he would actively deny it. Because, of course, he would. He's a doctor. He has the right to deny shit. Mm -hmm. um, but it'd be stuff like, hey, I'd go there for, like, I'm feeling super sick. And he'd be like, yeah, you're going to need some pigments to get through this. Your sister's still a slut? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. You just threw him under the bus because you said his name. Yeah. Oh. There's like 20 of them. Oh, okay. In that area? Sure. You can bleep the name. Okay. I'm going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to forget to do that. Yeah. Bleep the name. I'll be presenting a report on that in the near future. <laughs> and it'll just be like, yeah, Doc. And he's Marcus, like, you're not going to give her any of these pills, are you? I'm like, no, Doc. And he's like, sure? Yeah, dog. <laughs> it's like, all right. <laughs> That's pretty great. <sighs> Nashville's a weird place. Yeah. The time has finally come. He is by far the best doctor, truth. though. Aside from all the silly bullshit with my family, top-notch doctor. Mm -hmm. For the first time on national television, not just one... But two operations will be broadcast live. I love the porno music. Yeah. Our very own Dr. Leonardo Bello will be competing against Team Caduceus. Couple of As sexy people getting up in them the guts. It's the same setting. It's going through your head. Yeah. If you weren't it crassly enough. Operation is performed quickly, as I intend to demonstrate. You intend to demonstrate more like. Look at that motherfucker. Like, he's got this bushy hair, and you know it's just because he's got little horns. Yes. I assure you, our viewers are in for quite a surprise. So, demons versus vampires. Let's go. Did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Don't go anywhere. Vampires. You don't want to miss this. Let's go, Marcus. Now, let's check in with Team Caduceus. I must say, you look really determined today. Our only concern is the welfare of the patient. Nothing more, nothing less. We're calm and focused. We're concentrating on the procedure, not worrying about the competition. Some competition you are. It seems Team Caduceus has their eye on the ball. I don't like that your phone does this rainbow thing. I like it. It, it No! No! <laughs> Misket. Come here. Anyway, I hope they'll perform an amazing operation for us. Put this up here. There we go. Each of today's patients suffers from aneurysms in their large intestine. Yeah, try to try to make aneurysms sound television worthy. Go aneurysm. Ahead. This is an unprecedented opportunity to see America's best doctors live in action. Even though our patients are in good hands, we do have an emergency team on standby. However, I doubt they'll be needed. Well, the time has come. Teams, please prep for surgery. Okay, there we go. She got her pets. And now she's probably going to go beat up on Mr. Katz. All right, Meredith Stevens. Aneurysms on the large intestine. Because of their size, anastomosis of synthetic blood vessels is needed once they've been treated. Well, let's begin the conference. Anastomosis. This will be an operation on an aneurysm, so the basic treatment will be to excise the bulge. But according oh, yeah. to the diagnosis, there seems to be another aneurysm lurking there, too. Let's use this opportunity to implant the synthetic vein while dealing with the aneurysms. Got it. Are you okay, Val? A connection yes. made surgically between Fine. adjacent blood vessels. Concentrate. 
Stay calm. This amazing, unprecedented surgical showdown begins now. Who will reign supreme? I'm gonna you lose. Can't let your eyes yeah, miss even the fucked. slightest moment of this competition. This guy isn't helping, is he? No. All your stuff's gonna break again. I don't trust Valerie. Let's go. Well, let's do this. Lights, camera, action. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here we go. Oh shit, she's pregnant. Let's all do our best. Oh, she's a little bit on the heavier side, considering her uh, small size. I'm she's like five foot four, one seventy five. Possible that another that's not too bad. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Into the, bulge. the sedative has taken effect. Now, please drain. The, use the now suture the veins together where they meet. Looks good. Perfect. That was not there good. Indications that another aneurysm may develop. Continue with the operation, doctor, but be careful. I got you, fam. What? Whoa. Still, the procedure to first inject the sedative. The sedative won't last long since it's so big. The aneurysm has it's been so damn taken big. Yeah. It, the blood has been drained. Next, we will reconnect the blood vessel using the synthetic vein. Place the synthetic vein between the ends of the real vein. Twist your hand to find the right angle. Now, suture the veins to the now suture the other end the same way. The synthetic vein has been sutured into Bullshit. place. Treatment of the large aneurysm is now complete. Skeet skeet. Oh. Whoa! Did you see that? That was amazing, Dr. Bello. There's okay. a lot of cheering going on from that side. What's happening over there? Must be that surprise he mentioned. Just ignore it. Stay focused. Concentrate. There seems to be an aneurysm outside of our view. Ooh, Use many the magnification of them. tool and treat it. There's a lot of aneurysm. An aneurysm. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was just. Whoa, the hold the, the fuck bulge. on. She's going through these aneurysms way too fast. More blood is obscured. Oh, my leg. Please drain it. An aneurysm has burst no! out of our view. Damn. The magnification tool and Jesus, titties on a goddamn Stop. salad. There's no need for that. I'll take over from here. Out of my way, you butchers. You butchers. <laughs> Jesus. I'm probably going to have to use the, the healing touch, aren't I? Probably. If I can. Well, here we go. Yeah, you haven't gotten it to work ever so far, so. I think I'm just doing the star the wrong way. I'm confirming it's pop. Please inject it. the sedative into the bulge. The sedative is taking effect. Now, please drain the use the now suture the vape looks good. But there are indi continue with What? Still, first inject the sedative. The sedative won't last long okay, since I believe the aneurysm has been pleased to I believe in a thing called shut the fuck up. Use your hand to find the right angle. Now, now suture the other end. The synthetic the treatment of the lung. Whoa! Whoa! So some of you may be asking, just what is an aneurysm? An excessive localized enlargement of an artery caused by a weakening of the artery wall. So, somewhere that little bit of artery got a bit weak the blood pressure going through it made it pump up so that way it's about to break <sighs> the patient's and, vitals yeah no inject inject brown jesus do the thing drain the thing grab this thing no motherfucker Jesus. Hot damn. Police and fireman. No! Damn. What? It's just like. Bruh. Christ on a fucking Stop. sausage. Stop the operation. <sighs> For Dr. Vaughn. Okay. Alright, alright. All yeah, right. I'm fairly certain you're gonna have to try and use the thing. 
once four of those pop up, they burst way too fast. Yes, they do. Uh, bit of aneurysm, you know, right there. On your, on your yeah, head. I'll just, I'll just put it back. Yeah. Steve. Suddenly so became a conscientious, conscientious objector. And treat it. Words. And she's like, yeah, uh, this was supposed to be there. Hold on. An aneurysm burst. Drain the blood. No. Shut your mouth. The patient's vitals. Doctor, another aneurysm right. is forming. Please one. hurry up and treat it. One, two, three, four, five. Why don't you just? Why don't you just do the fucking? Healing touch! I've fucking done the goddamn motherfucking thing before! Jesus fucking dick. It doesn't want to do the fucking goddamn thing. It's like, oh, I'm gonna do the star, but no! Fuck you! I'm not gonna do that shit. Let's look this up. How do you use the healing touch? Apparently it has to be extremely quick. Quick, okay. Son of a bitch. <sighs> the patient's vitals. Nope, 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 nope. Those things pop up and then go so fucking fast. Oh my god. Motherfucker. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, that worked just fine. Apparently. Motherfucker. Get rid of it. Wow. Son of a bitch! Stop. Fuck this one! Alright. Nope. It's off to a great start. How about just plug it in? Plug it in, plug it in. This room smells like light all of a sudden. Come on. Alright, the one on the far left, save it for the very last. Okay. Because when you do that one, it triggers the rest. Mad skills. Don't you burst. Alright, so now go ahead and get her vitals up as high as you can before you do that. Alright, 
Go back over there, and now probably do the healing touch. Come on! Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Sedative. Sedative. Wow, that one's good. Okay. Please close up the patient. Yeah, that was some bullshit. Oh, oh god, okay. At least we fucking did it though. We're done with the operation. Great work, team. Yeah, it really helps if you know which bit triggers the next bit, which you can't figure out until you fail a few times. That's kinda of bullshit. Fuck this game, dude. I like it. Well, congratulations on a successful procedure. Thank you. I'm glad it went smoothly. Uh, I too am relieved that you were able to complete the operation. But you had me worried there for a while, since it was taking so long. Dr. Bello, you're already finished? That can't be. We completed our operation so fast. Let's take a moment to review some highlights from Dr. Bellow's operation. I mean, he has the healing touch, right? Obviously. Yeah. And he didn't have near as many as we did. He has the healing touch. Incredible. That's my trademark. I have the ability to block out all distractions. I wanted to serve a piece of humble pie to all those arrogant doctors out there. You're the most arrogant doctor. You are a piece of shit. Very impressive. Now, the judging is underway backstage by an independent medical panel. Who will emerge victorious from this historic battle? We're leaving, darling. But... We're in hostile territory. There's no reason for us to stick around, no matter what the results are. Let's not give them another opportunity to criticize us. You're right, Marcus. Yeah. The results are in. The doctor selected as America's finest is Dr. Leonardo Bello. What a surprise. Yeah. Even when you win. You still lose. Yeah. Fuck's sake. You did good. I did it eventually. You did good. Elena, you forgot to sterilize operating room three. Oh, sorry. I'll do it right away. Jeez, what's gotten into you? I know you're upset about losing the competition, but you have to get over it. You're bringing everyone down. <laughs> Where are the doctors? <laughs> the director asked to see them. Yikes, that doesn't sound good. In these times of skyrocketing medical costs, there remains a ray of hope for those in need. Only one doctor provides life-saving surgery free of charge. This is wish come true miracle surgery. How can you stand to watch that? I'm not watching it because I want to. Is it your penance for the fiasco? The Secretary of Health and Welfare is furious, but that's to be expected. However, no one is blaming you two since you performed a flawless operation. Mm. I called you here for another reason. Take a look at this. 
a letter? How old-fashioned. Dear Caduceus staff, congratulations on your recent appearance on Miracle Surgery. Seeing you perform that operation on national television really ins- That's why I believe it's now my turn to make an appearance. Is this guy a doctor trying to promote himself? Or is this another challenge? Hey, keep get, reading. I'll I'm afraid it. it's you more serious going. than that. What you encountered at Concordia was care, the hand. And in Maryland, oh, you received Soma, the, the body. But now I shall reveal Ops, the eye, for the entire country to witness. I assure you, it will be something to behold. There you go. So the letter is basically talking about, like, oh, you're going to have Ops, the eye. I think this dude's talking about stigma. Oh. The miracle of modern times. Yeah. Stigma. There we go. He knows about stigma? It appears so. It's cranky old Dr. That's dude. That's why I couldn't just ignore Probably. this. Probably. Or maybe burned Dr. Dude, who's mad. Could be. Is he the one who created it? Is he the one who kidnapped Professor Wilkins? No, that's We've you, We've contacted dude. the producers of Miracle Surgery, yeah. but they're not taking the threat seriously. Now, the affected area is about to be exposed. Dude, you gotta get signed consent for that. Wait. <laughs> this isn't an ulcer. <laughs> oh, shit. What the... What is this? I... I just need to use my healing touch. No! I can't keep up with it. It's a new type of stigma. Bello can't handle this. Even with his skills, he doesn't know how to deal with it. Let's go, Marcus. Ma'am, please contact the studio and order them to suspend the operation immediately. Elaine is coming with us. Oh. Yeah, okay. Do they generally do this live? Whoa. What is this focus? Healing touch. Healing touch. Leo? Leo, are you alright? I can't. Whoa. Any Damn. More. Yeah, fucked up. <sighs> Leo! Leo! Hold yourself together. You, you have to finish the operation. It's in Leo Step that aside. fucked up since Leo the end of the No! He pushed himself too hard. I guess he doesn't know his own limit. Make sure you take good care of him. Okay, Samantha Young. New strain of stigma. Ops is present and must be eliminated. Video footage is currently under review. The patient's already been opened up, but her vitals are stable. Whoever wrote that letter called this stigma Ops, which means eye or something, right? I do see something that looks like an eye, but I have no idea what its function is. Thank Poke you. Did you notice anything while Dr. Bella was operating? There was some sort of reaction at the core, but it seemed like it needed energy. I haven't seen anything like it before. So the key to this operation... Team Caduceus has suddenly burst into the operating room here at Miracle Surgery. Will they save face from their defeat the other day? Will they get their revenge on Dr. Bello? I mean, way to keep the, uh, yeah, the presentation going. You're here. an asshole. There's only one thing we can do. We have to pray that they can perform a miracle. Revenge has nothing to do with this. We're here because there's a patient in need. That's right. That's right. This is what yeah. Caduceus does. <sighs> okay. <laughs> now, let's save a life. When in doubt, go with the vampire. Yeah. I like Marcus better. Valerie's an idiot. I like Valerie. Team Caduceus is about to take over the operation that struck down even our own Dr. Leonardo Bello. This isn't gonna go well. No, this that is gonna be really bad. That announcer lost his cool for a minute, but it looks like he's back to his annoying self. This is a new strain of stigma. Please, be careful. So this is Ops. The tissue covers a wide area, but we should focus on removing the central core. We should be able to burn it with the laser. Let's begin. It discharged something. There are no problems with the drain this time. Keep it up. The laser's working. Keep using it. It's releasing something larger. The discharge has been incinerated. Continue the treatment. Tumor has appeared. We have an analysis report from the lab. The material being discharged from the ends are nutrients. 
If these nutrients reach the core, it will activate and cause severe damage to the nervous system. We have to eliminate the discharges before they reach Op's core. Everyone watching at home, I implore you to pray for the patient and these young doctors. Count Caduceus, the eyes split up. What in the world Son of a just bitch. happened? The core's activation caused the it's wreaking the havoc on the patient's vitals. Concentrate on um. treating the tumors first. Nope. Do the thing. Son of a That's great. Let me let me just I don't have the fucking time. Shut up. Where did he come from? Yeah, he's just like, "Hey, Yamaka." Okay, how about you let me have the fucking time to put the vitals back up before you kill the thing? Team Caduceus. That's stupid that's, enough. That's that's great. That's awesome. I love you. The tissue covers a wall. That's we great. should be able to burn it with the laser. Let's it takes just so long to burn through. Good enough. There are no problems with the drain this time. Keep it up. It's releasing something larger. Burn it with the laser. The discharge has been incinerated. Continue Can you do anything treatment. about the blue things on the end? No. Tumor has appeared within the afflicted area. Everyone watching at home, I implore you to pray for the patient and these young doctors. Look out, Caduceus, the eye split up. Try and focus on the we have an analysis report from the material. If these we have what in the world just happened, the core's act it's wreaking havoc on the patient's vitals. No, no, the laser ran out. I fucking god damn. All right, I want to see what purple guy wow. says. This is getting out of hand. Move aside, both of you. The medical team will take over from here. Okay. Because you seem to know more than we do about stigma. Without a, they both. <sighs> Christ. Some of these missions are getting really damn hard. It's too much micromanaging. Again, I think this game was built around two player. Stupid announcer lost his cool for a minute. Uh, it looks like it, this is uh, okay. it's the tissue covers a. That's we should great. be able to burn it with the laser. Let's begin. It discharged something. There are no problems. The laser's working. Keep using it. It's releasing something. The discharge has been incinerated. Continue the treatment. Gotta love that vibrato no. sound. Mystery. Everyone watching at home, I implore you to pray for the patient and these young doctors. Count Caduceus, the eye split up. Fuck. We have an analysis. The material, if these, we have to eliminate the discharges before they reach Ops Core.
regenerated. Now, for the next one. The second core has been incinerated. Oh, oh! What? What? Son of a bitch! Awesome! Team Caduceus has successfully driven out the unknown pathogen! Yeah, just stitch her hip to her vagine. Yeah. That's alright. Dude, that was ridiculous. I can't believe I did it! <laughs> <laughs> so much micromanaging! Not as much as the gallbladder, but still. Yeah. Well, what the gallbladder do? one hell of a show. I'm glad we were able to save this person. Please put your hands together for the heroes who saved another precious life on Miracle Surgery. And you did it without the healing touch. I sure did. So That's just because that. I can't fucking use it. Take that, Dr. Bellow. You hack. I really think you're supposed to be using the healing touch way more. Yeah, I think I'm oh, supposed hey. to be. Hey, hey. Hey, Ooh. bait. It's a miracle. Folks. It's a miracle. We just witnessed a true miracle. Two Patience new stars have been born it. right before our very. Give me that mic. Give me that mic. That's racist. <laughs> that, if she said that, it kind of would be. Ladies and gentlemen, what you saw <laughs> look at that is face. A new intractable disease. <laughs> and stigma. Okay, are we supposed to be doing this? No. I mean, I guess we don't really have a choice at this point. She about to get fired. It's a serious disease that's still a mystery to us. But Caduceus has been researching potential countermeasures. And because of that, we were able to save this patient's life. That's part of our mission at Caduceus. I think it's important for the public to understand what our organization is all about. I believe that those of us in the medical field have two major responsibilities. One is to help patients with existing conditions. The other is to arm ourselves against new diseases that may arise. So in other words... I like the concept of Marcus just pulling this face behind her this entire time. Yeah. Caduceus is fighting for all of our futures. Valerie, why don't you start wrapping it up? Every doctor is a part <laughs> of this fight, so please... <laughs> hurry the fuck up, Valerie. Consult your local physician if you experience any unusual symptoms. Because they know what to do. And if yeah. necessary, feel free to contact us as well. Oh, that's a poor that's a poor choice. That's all I have to say. We at Caduceus hope to continue serving you. What's with her, with her glove thing? I've heard of fingerless gloves, but just like the bottom of the palm gloves? It's like this. What, but... Right? This is what's going on. Because I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, and it's just slightly too long, and it's going up underneath my wrist. Yeah, but why would she have that? That's why. Right there. I'm going to bite that finger off. Oh, finger for you, buddy. by the way, this will be the last episode oh, of the surgery. Oh, shit! Good night. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she she's totally able to make that call. Yeah. Oh, shit. Nick Cage. Yeah, but that's that's been a good episode. Oh, that's 40 minutes. Fuck. Yeah. All right. Well, next time, Nick Cage. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and do some of our shout-outs. All right, I'm going to do a shout-out to another fictional voice acting doctor, and that is Lucy Pohl, who does the voice of uh, Dr. Angela Ziegler from Overwatch, a.k.a. Uh, Mercy. Yes. You know her as, you know, the, the blonde lady with the big wings and stuff, and... You know, she's she's always the one who's exasperated because Genji needs healing. Yeah, her. Um, I they don't also know what Overwatch is. If they watch us, they should. Yeah. Because we talk about it all the time. I'm just trying to help. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm a support main, but I don't really play Mercy much. But I like the character. I definitely do the, the farm Mercy shipping. So, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a good time. Nice. All right, so in keeping with the theme of my recent shout-outs, this one's also going to a famous doctor, uh, Stanley Prusiner. Prusiner. Uh, I'm never going to pronounce Prusine. any of these. Prusiner. I'm never going to pronounce any of these names right. Uh, born in 1942. Uh, I think he's still alive, actually. Uh, the 1997 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine was awarded to Dr. Stanley Prusiner for his pioneering discovery of an entirely new genre of disease-causing agents and the elucidation of the underlying principles of their mode of action. Through his work on bovine spongiform, spongiform encephalopathy and Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, 
Dr. Prusiner was the first to propose the role of prions, a class of infections, self-reproducing pathogens, primarily or solely composed of protein in disease. He's current, uh, this might be a bit dated, but he was, at least, currently the director of Institute for Neurodegenerative Diseases at the University of California, San Francisco. Also a recipient of the National Medal of Science and a long list of awards. So when it comes to, like, neurology, this dude set us ahead, like, 20 years. Nice. Yeah. Good, good for you, Stanley. Yeah, he's hell of a thing. So, yeah. All right. All right, guys. Well, next time, we're going to be in Chapter 5, Face Off. Yes. So, join join us for some Nick Cage. Action. And Travolta. Uh, Nick Cage. Okay. <laughs> Nobody joins anything for Travolta. Some people join Scientology for Travolta. Ew. I thought that was mostly a Tom Cruise thing. I mean, I know Travolta is a Scientologist as well. Yeah. But, yeah. I like Travolta in more things than I like Tom Cruise in things. Hmm. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Look who's talking and... Well, that's it. But, um... I <laughs> Pulp Fiction. <laughs> I like the Mission Impossible movies. I, Most yeah. of them. Some of them. Like one. <laughs> <laughs> They're a bit dated now. Yeah. Especially that first one. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll catch you next time. Thanks so much, guys. Goodbye. Bye.